This may come as a shock to you, but the way movie stars, theater actors, and television performers memorize their parts is also available to you. Believe it or not, few, if any, have photographic memories. It takes time to learn the words and more time to understand and then convey the thoughts intended to, the, to develop gestures and floor movements. Memorization doesn't happen overnight. It takes work. And it isn't done in a quiet corner in the basement or in the car driving back and forth from here to there. It happens with all the participants sitting down and reading and reading and reading their parts going over and over the rubrics, those unspoken directions that are incorporated in our script or ritual. Focusing on a particular part by listening to someone do it over and over is one way to learn and become acquainted with a part. Another is to check out or obtain a ritual and work with a knowledgeable coach. But the best way is through a skull practice a meeting for discussion and exchanges of ideas or suggestions that help bring understanding and knowledge and memorization. Get the officers together during the summer break as you get prepared to advance in the line and follow the tips that I'm about to give you. As the third season of Hot in Cleveland was wrapping up, viewers got behind the scenes looks at the way things go on in the production of a show. And there they were, the actors, producers, directors, support staff, and technicians sitting around a table studying the words and the rubrics. In this era of the lost art of memorization, this can be the answer to those who say, I can't memorize. Of course you can memorize. You remember to bathe and dress. You remember the, work, the route to work or school. You remember how to do your job or study for a test. You remember what night your favorite show is on TV. That's memorization. So maybe you haven't had to memorize something word for word recently. Here are some thoughts and ideas from the pros. Read out loud and repeat, repeat, repeat. For most performers, there is no shortcut to memorizing lines. To learn lines, an actor must recite the play out loud, out loud, over and over again. Most rehearsals encourage this by running through the lines or having a read through. By the time opening night arrives, most actors have spoken their lines hundreds of times. In addition to constant repetition, consider these supplemental te techniques. First, listen to your cast members. Sometimes inexperienced or poorly trained actors spend rehearsals staring blankly at fellow performers, waiting patiently to say their next line. Instead, they should be listening attentively, responding in character at all times. This is, will not only generate a better performance, it will also help the actor learn his lines because the context of the dialogue is absorbed. Pay attention and the other person's lines will serve as a cue or memory trigger during the performance. Get up and move. Whenever possible, incorporate your stage directions while you say your lines aloud. According to a scientific study conducted by psychologists Helga and Tony Noyce, the combination of movement and speech strengthens a person's ability to recall the next line. Here's how Ms. Noyce explains it. Memory is aided by physical movement. In one study, lines learned while making an appropriate motion, for example, walking across the stage, were more readily remembered by the actors later than were lines unaccompanied by action. So during the early stages of learning the script, make certain you join the words with appropriate movements and gestures. Think positively and don't panic. Don't let the butterflies in your stomach torment you too much. 
Most thespians experience stage fright minutes, hours, even weeks before opening night. While a certain amount of nervousness can get the adrenaline going, too much anxiety over lines might hinder an actor's performance. Actors forget lines now and then. It happens. When it happens, however, most of the time the audience never notices. Forgetting a line is only disastrous if the performer breaks character. So if you forget a line in the middle of your performance, don't freeze. Don't get flustered. Don't look at the audience. Don't call out, line! Stay in character. Keep the scene going to the best of your ability. And with the help of your fellow cast members, you'll get back on track. Take solace in the fact that if you forget a line once, you will probably never forget that line again. Sometimes, embarrassment is the strongest and toughest method of memorization.